and welcome to the Shoebox episode 13. Let's be here 13 this time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, might be unlucky this one. Ooh. Anyway, we have problem setting up the mic, so you know. Right, uh, this week's Shoebox we're doing replayable video games, so basically games that we would pick up over and over again and play or start right from the beginning of the game, play right the way through and then start again because we love it so much. Uh, with me today, I've got Flynn, like usual. Hello, everybody. And we've got our guest speaker, Reese. Hello. You all right? Flynn, take us away. Right, so a game that I would replay. Well, I wouldn't say a game, but there is an entire franchise series that I like, and I've ever since picking up one of their games back in, say, 2004, it's been consistently a game that I can just go back in, I would con- just completely start over again with something it's the total war franchise It's a real-time strategy turn-based game all the games so far have been set in historical uh locations or have been heavily featured around actual historical events say like medieval era the roman era the uh, shogun uh, era and even uh the empire era of both of all pretty much England, France and Spain and everyone, all other European countries. And every time I go into one of those games, I just start again building back up from the beginning because I just love it so much. You can just build you build cities up, you build armies up and then you just conquer the world. Mm. It's satisfying to basically have a good struggle against an AI and you just come out on top and it's brilliant. Flynn, the overlord of the world, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what I am interested in is their next game, which is actually going to be a cross between what they usually do and the Warhammer franchise. Oh. Now, I don't mind the Warhammer franchise. From what I've seen of it, it looks okay. But the fact that they're making it into a Total War game just is right up my street. They're kind of merging it. They so are, they are, they are merging it, yeah. Fair. That sounds pretty cool. Isn't it? What about you, Reese? What's a game that you can replay? Over and over again. Games that I can replay. I, I have two. I mean, obviously, I have the main one, which is Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it sounds, yeah, I, I like game. Like people play their game and then they complete the story and they do online and stuff. But I, I like that kind of thing. It incorporates everything that I like about like a game. Because like, you know, gangster movies and cars and shoot ups and car chases and stuff like that. I mean, everything as a as a as a franchise is like it encapsulates everything I like about a game. Open world you know, different customizable players and stuff and like as they've kind of moved into different worlds and like different kind of scenery of different um, games. Like GTA four started with like a different universe. And the GTA five came out and that kinda of changed the game. Um and I still play that game. Like more so like story wise than I do online because I think the story's pretty cool. Like I, I enjoy the stories like a movie. And it's like you know, I like gangster movies and I like crime dramas and stuff like that. So Combining everything, it's like a big map of destruction and crime and chaos, and, and I like that. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I'm quite looking forward to the next one. I mean, everyone is. The anticipation from GTA 6 is like, it's huge. And it's going to be... A, a hype train is real, everybody. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> a hype train. But it's going to be years and years. Well, not years and years. Maybe like three years until the next one comes out, or the next major installment comes out. But I, I for one, can't wait. I mean, if anything, there's still, still probably going to be like a single uh, campaign sort of DLC mm. to come out still as well. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I'm looking forward to like everything that come out. I mean, I've downloaded all the campaigns and stuff, uh, and you get like extra things in story mode as well to kind of like re- up, up your story. And recently they've put like a yacht, you know, like a yacht Oh, upgrade. giant yacht. Yeah, yeah. A giant yacht upgrade. You can like buy a yacht and customise it and personalise it and... That's pretty cool, because you can like, sit on a boat and be gangster with like a million dollars and shit. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's just like go, Funkle Barnes. <laughs> yeah, like, like, Wolf Wall Street. With yeah. Tablets, like, <laughs> scraping the money out. It's like, me. Yeah. And the other one, probably Call of Duty. And it's, pre- it's pretty standard for me, but like Call of Duty, I can play it again and again and again. Um, multiplayer and story-wise. Because well, like the last instalment, I really like story-wise, properly, is probably World at War, which is, is a, an old, old game, but... It was kind of like the end of World War Two for you know was it Americans versus Japanese and uh, Russia versus Germany and I thought both of those were very good like and both both very good stories and the way the game was made but yeah Call of Duty in general is just a great it was a great first person which is kind of, it's a kind of an odd choice for me as well because I like open world games that's my main thing I like kind of you know being able to like have a character that can just explore and like have like a map almost but in that sense like I do like just like jumping around shooting up and being in the army and cool and stuff like that you know in yeah. a child coming out you know <laughs> nice what about you josh 
my mine mine goes with my favourite superhero, so Arkham City. The uh, Arkham series is my gem. Yeah, fair play. I think it's just the fact that it's like it's set in the Batman universe, but with the way it's done with the mechanics of the game, you essentially like being a detective, you're trying to figure out what's going on, getting various different pieces. And also being a badass superhero fighting <laughs> uh, <laughs> beating the shit out of people. <laughs> That's always fun. Yeah. yeah. But um I I'm yet to play the um Arkham Knight game which I would love right now, but they put it to next gen consoles before I had a next gen console, so I'm gonna get a next gen console and get that. I, I would say I'd get it, but um you can't for PC. Well you can, but it's extremely buggy. Extremely buggy. Yeah, extremely. <laughs> Do not want to touch that with a barge pole. Unless mm. they made it for an actual PC game, it's like no point getting the port. Essentially it's a port, isn't it? Yeah, it's a port. Yeah. Here's a question though, what would, which next gen console would you get then? I mean, obviously it's they've been out for ages and everyone always has their preference, but like personally. I I would go PS4. Yeah. Yeah. I'd I would also have to go PS4. Don't care about the Xbox one. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox I never was into anyway, so um the first Xbox, the first ever Xbox, the black thing. Uh oh, yeah. I loved when it came out, but I only ever played it when I was around my cousins. Mm. But um yeah, I've never really been interested in the 360 before. Uh, after that, I'm not a huge gamer. I'm not like religiously playing all the time. So uh, PS4 probably worked better for me. Yeah, I was a, I was a PlayStation kid for years and years and years and years until I bought it at 360 and it converted me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The only downside with Xbox is you have to pay for like online. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, you know that's been a staple for ever. I think that's the reason why I worked for a PS3 the first time. <laughs> yeah. It's like <laughs> I ain't no paying for more shit. I've already spent 400 quid on it. Not <laughs> Month, yeah. yeah. That's that um, right. Right. Well, that concludes this uh, podcast for now. I mean, remember what? to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, yes. Yeah, so and say what your favourite game is. I mean, might as well. And give us some ideas for more uh, subjects for on our podcast. <laughs> you can you can also say which one. Who do you agree with more? <laughs> is GTA Call of Duty your thing? Total War franchise also your thing? And it's the Batman. Yeah, Batman probably just win. Yeah, Batman does. Does. <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick shout out to my friend Reese. He's in a band and it's called Scott Shores. Find mm. them on SoundCloud and find their video for Is It Release? Mm. Hashtag fanboy. <laughs> on YouTube, you'll be able to find it. We'll put a link in the description. All right, that is bye from me. That's bye from me. I'll see you from me. I'll see you later, everybody. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>